Hey everybody, well, remember in fall when I did the pumpkin spice latte design and I confess to you that I've never had one and I didn't think I would like one. If I did try it, well, this is my drink. I love peppermint mochas, so this is my season. So with this design, I just started out by lining it out and now I am taking the liquid gesso and doing a quick base coat because sometimes uh, Santorini stones can soak up the paint. So this helps kind of seal it in and will help make the red on the cup a nice, bright, vibrant red. Now I'm gonna take this flag red, it's a nice bright red paint, and go ahead and start filling in the color on the background of the coffee cup. I am going to do a couple of coats of this just to make sure it's nice and filled in and nice and vibrant. take a pencil and line out the coffee sleeve and then come in with some white paint and fill that in. This will take a couple of coats as well just to make sure that the red is completely covered. I'm also going to fill in the lid of the coffee cup with some white paint as well. lining out the design for the coffee sleeve. So I've got a circle, I traced one of my largest dotting tools, and then I'm putting some extra lines on the side of that. I'm gonna take a Thule Art acrylic paint pen and start drawing the peppermint design. So this is kind of like arched lines and then you fill them in. And so I make these thicker ones and then I will come back and make a thinner line in between all of these to create the look of the peppermint. take a green Thule Art paint pen and fill in the stripes on the outside of the peppermint and then I'm going to come back with glitter paint of course to fill these in and give it even a little bit more sparkle. Now with this glitter paint, I am using the disposable eyeliner brushes because they're so good for fine line detail. And some of these lines are just very, very thin. So I wanna make sure that I'm using something that's great for detail. So I'm using the red glitter paint on the red. I will come back with the Folk Art Hologram Glitter for the white areas, and then the green glitter on that last stripe. Here I'm just using my Sakura Pigma pen, which is also really great for fine line detail for a black line, to just outline the whole design. And now I'll come back with that green glitter and finish that off. back to that hologram glitter paint and the eyeliner brush and I'm just going to add some very fine little scrolls in the cup so kind of that 
detail that you see on a lot of coffee cups from you know the coffee shop so it's literally just some circular scrolls moving in different directions it's a clear glitter paint so it's very faint it'll show but it's not going to stand out and be overpowering <music> Every coffee cup needs a little bit of steam so you know it's hot and then I made a couple of these designs and both of them felt like they were missing a little something so I decided to add a little bit of writing so on this one I'm going to write let's get cozy and then on the next one you'll see that I decided to write tis the season hope you enjoyed this tutorial because they're sure a lot of fun to make and I would love to see what you create. There's links in the descriptions for all of my supplies and don't forget to subscribe and hit the alert button so you don't miss future uploads. See you next time.